Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and a tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can save images for web or how to save for web in Photoshop and also how to save for social media. And also this is going to help you to save sharp photos and also photos that are not going to be changing in color after I've been able to save them in Photoshop. So this is the image you have right now and as you can see, I already did the color grading and skin retouching and this is are basically what my processes or my layers that I apply to this image so in order to save for web legacy of to save for web simply come here to file and just come to just come right here to export and you come to save for web legacy or you can simply find your option right in this other side if at all you have an older version of Photoshop so Mine is under export, then just come to save for web legacy. And when you are done doing that, it is going to come and open another window for you right here. That is going to include the dialog box for save for web. So these are the settings you have to take into consideration. You have first of all choose the format. And since most websites support JPEG files, just come right here to the format and select JPEG. And the quality I prefer this at a hundred percent and make sure you check optimize and also embed the color profile so what this does it helps you to embed the colors that you color graded and put within your image and also come and check this option which says convert to srgb so with these three options checked it means that your image is not going to be changing in color when you upload it on a website or when you post it on social media so make sure you check these options right here so optimized is checked embed color profile is checked and also convert to srgb is also checked and after doing that we have some other additional options that are down here so make sure the quality is by cubic sharper so you change it from whatever it is to by cubic sharper and what this does it helps you to add an additional kind of sharpening to the image and it is going to be really sharp when you post it on social media or on the website and when you're done doing all that just come to save so just come and click on save and don't click on done so just come and hit save and when you hit save it is going to open this other window for you right here and you choose a destination where you want to save the image that is the desktop and this is going to be the image name right on top or save as so this is the image name and you choose a location where you want to save your image and after doing that just come right here and you click on save so the format has to be of course i prefer images only and just come and hit save and it's going to save your image in that a given location so basically this is how to export or save images for web and if at all you have found this helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching. i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating